So it's the day after the shoot, we're here on set. Um, the guys are about to uh, do a takedown. You'll have probably seen this project uses some really interesting tech and uh, brilliant creative. And we're calling this technology immersive imaging. There's definitely a real interest in taking um, interactive technology and, and, and animations and all the stuff that we've been creating and projecting that experience so that it's not just contained on a box that you look at. When we started this project, we didn't really know how it could be done, but then that's what R&D's for and it shouldn't really ever put you off. One area that we wanted to get into the project was the, the human element and it was a particular challenge to get the fusion between real physical effects and virtual effects that were projected. We wanted to do camera tracking from the start so that we could do real-time 3D content. We were looking into various types of technology to do it and it seemed really natural to look into using this. We basically strapped one of these to the camera set up a few cameras around and then using all the PlayStation SDK and the gyro inside this and the camera stuff, we managed to find the exact position of the camera and orientation in the set and it actually made our life a hell of a lot easier. The aim was to get mavericks from all these different fields together. Um, so. Uh, we had Captain Steadicam, we had a special effects guy that meant the workflow into the virtual projection. Um, it became easier thanks to the help of some Uber we wizards. We had a good wizards. team, yeah. Big team. <laughs> Megatronic Uber tech wizards. Trying to do it all in one take was a massive challenge. Getting all the puppeteers, pyrotechnics and projections all in time was really tough. But um, we managed to do it in the end. Things were designed and modelled in 3D Studio Max, but then brought into Unity, which is a games engine. Everything was, all the 3D is completely real-time. If you think, what is this technology, if that's really relevant. What's relevant is what the tagline is. We try to blur it between virtual and, and real. And that's really what the, the future is. The future is blurring that boundary even more and more. What that means is that anything, any live experience, can just be augmented to a degree where you don't really know, you don't really care if something is projected or if it's real. It's just one whole experience. We're all children of the 80s and we were cheated by virtual reality back then. Basically, it was Never hinting at <laughs> uh, this <laughs> most amazing thing. Lawn mower, man, it could have happened. <laughs> and, and what you know, there's, we're 20 years down the line and, um, and we're still waiting for that dream. <laughs>